Hi, everyone. I'm Megan Coyle, the Vice President of Content Marketing at Innovid. Thanks for joining us today for our webinar, Think Like a Brand, Defining and Achieving Success for Converge TV Campaigns. Before I hand it over to Jessica, one small housekeeping note. We will have a few minutes at the end of the session to go through some questions. So please add them to the chat box you see on your screen. If we don't get to your question in time, we will follow up with you directly with an answer. Now I will hand it off to Jessica Hogue, Innovid's General Manager, Measurement and Analytics, who will be leading today's session. Jessica, over to you. Thanks, Meg. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Um, so for many in the media industry, we've been talking about the notion of convergence for years, bringing together digitally delivered ads and content with traditional broadcast and cable has been in the making for a while, but now it's so critical um, to put the measurement pieces together. So our session today is going to provide you with new insights about how senior level brand and agency marketers are thinking about their priorities when it comes to buying and planning all video um, and their view on the state of unified advertising. With that as a foundation, we're going to explore the pillars of success for building convergent TV campaigns. Everything from how to think about the media used to create reach, the measurement and technology underpinnings, and importantly, and something I'm truly passionate about, the creative assets that were being used to uh, deploy it across platforms to generate those messages and awareness. Um, and we're also going to look at how to navigate the evolving marketplace when it comes to data, the greater measurability that we have today, and the, the new metrics that are at our fingertips. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm really excited to share with you uh, what it is that we're doing at Innovid and more importantly, why. Um, if you don't know us, our foundation really is rooted in video. We even have it in our company name, Innovation in Video. Uh, Innovid is an independent global platform that combines ad delivery, dynamic creative personalization, and full cross-platform measurement for the entire TV and digital universe. Under the hood, what's really important is we've built a sophisticated infrastructure that handles the delivery of campaigns from the moment of inception to the point of exposure. And what that means for measurement is that we can uniquely count every exposure. This, you know, in a world of fragmentation is, is such a big and enormous, powerful tool. Building measurement directly at the point of delivery is a pretty contemporary approach to addressing the challenges that panels have historically faced with counting all of the fragmented viewing uh, and behavior. So from here on top of this platform, what we do is we support brands in a continuous measurement of their reach and frequency and all the way through to the performance of how their creative assets are actually working. Our engine delivers, it personalizes messages, it helps measure, and all of those inputs or measurement uh, inputs, if you will, help to optimize campaigns while they're in flight or to prepare for the next campaign. So it's these fundamental pillars that are essential to building a more complete and continuous picture of TV advertising. So let's talk about the, the new research study. Um, the shift to Converge TV has had a pretty profound impact on just about every aspect of advertising, from finding and reaching audiences and leveraging technology for scale, targeting and personalization, and then ultimately meeting the demands of consistent and unified measurement. But really to thrive in today's marketplace, one that's filled with all of these different platforms and data sources and metrics, advertisers are increasingly demanding a unified view. It's just become table stakes to how they run their business. And so it's not only important to understand how cross-platform campaigns are working, but then to uncover actionable insights that can be used to better reach and engage consumers wherever they are and the next uh, sort of iteration of that marketing life cycle. And so to better understand really what's on the minds of the media buyers uh, and, and agency leaders, um, we wanted to learn about the challenges, the barriers that they face, um, some of the transformations that they see underway, and also the opportunities. Really, what can we look forward to in more of a unified view of Converge TV? And so just uh, for clarity, our study defines Converge TV as linear, CTV and digital video. And super excited today to share with you just a sneak peek at the findings. Um, the full study will be released in full next Monday. 
Um, so let's dive in. Um, when we asked marketers about the share of converged TV spend as a portion of their total media mix, 80% cited that it had increased year over year. So first and foremost, what this indicates to us is that advertisers are getting more comfortable with the fluidity of their television dollars sort of existing across different platforms and viewing environments and blending how they buy and plan their media. Um, what we also saw is over 30% are devoting as much as 40 to 50% of their total ad spend to converge TV. This is a really significant and meaningful number. Um, and what I think it says is that we're no longer experiencing a time where advertisers are really thinking about television as sort of mono media. Um, it, the respondents illustrate a wide range of allocation across different types of television. So when we say television, again, we're really thinking about a much more uh, diverse definition of what that experience is like. As any brand manager will tell you, of course, that understanding where consumers are and precisely determining when and how to reach them has never been more complicated. So it's wonderful that we now have all of these different tools and platforms to reach consumers, but it makes the job that much more complicated. And you know, our, our mission today is to help us think like a brand, right? And, and if you look at an experience, think about your favorite brands. Brands are everywhere today. It's not just in the media that we consume, but they're available to us on so many different platforms and screens and touch points. And so it's really no surprise that viewership fragmentation rose to the top in our study as the key challenge to building a unified view. Um, it's further complicated, of course, by the role that wall gardens play in the market, some of the data limitations that exist, as well as more traditional or legacy buying and planning processes where you know we can have different types of teams sometimes in-house uh, different teams within an agency all buying inventory and sometimes that can result in just multiple ways of buying the same inventory um, a close second that we saw was creative personalization so really really important what this is signaling here is marketers and brands wanting to have the ability to produce data-driven ad experiences at scale we see this across CTV and addressable as advertisers really recenter their strategies around the creative and explore ways in which they can make that asset more relevant. What they're calling out for here is a need for data synchronicity to work across their entire workflow. Um, a third and, and also important topic that rose was inconsistent measurement. Um, this is you know, something we've heard for the last couple of years now, but it's really just elevating the need for a consistent count across linear and connected TV. Um, one key insight that came out of the study um, in, I find really fascinating is the, the role that tools play in actually solving some of these challenges. And what we saw is that 66% um, of, of the of respondents said that uh, consolidated technology was ranked above all other factors as being a tool that could help address some of these challenges. And I think what we're seeing here is marketers want their solutions to be integrated and where possible to reduce redundancy, to reduce the friction and noise created right by having to introduce pixels um, to get to counts. Um, ultimately just want to improve the ability to measure and optimize creatives and to measure in a consistent way. So again, you know, we think that oftentimes this becomes a data problem, but really what we're seeing the marketplace respond to us is say, you know, technology can pave a way to bring these pieces back together. Now, sort of somewhat you know flipping here from the challenges and barriers um, we also wanted to understand what buyers uh, are optimistic about what are some of the benefits that they see in moving to more of a unified view of television interestingly 92 percent claimed that a converged tv reach and performance was important or very important so i think that that number stands all on its own um, it's time to get our act together uh, because there's a strong belief uh, and interest in moving the market forward in this regard um, also interesting as many as 62 percent resp of respondents cited that they expected improved ad relevance as being a top benefit of having a more unified view i think this sp speaks entirely 
entirely to cleaning up frequency and saturation that can exist on different channels, really getting to creating a better ad experience um, for marketers, which is which is really what it's all about. Um, and also 59% said having a wider range of access to data was a byproduct of having a more unified view. Um, so this is sort of interesting. We also asked how having a unified view would help brands and agencies conduct optimizations. We wanted to understand how this might change their workflow. And embedded here is a really, really important insight. In the market today, you know, we talk a lot about currency evolution and what's really at stake is a new set of tools to help measure media. And while that's important, um, and we think it absolutely acknowledges a pain point in the, in the industry, what often gets lost in that conversation is that marketers in particular need visibility and tools to optimize their creative performance, um, whether it is optimizing for awareness or optimizing for full funnel. And so what's so striking to me about the results here is that with a unified view, 88% of respondents are saying, yes, they would optimize their media much more or more often, um, but also 85% are also acknowledging that they would do the same, um, have the same opportunity to optimize their creative. So I think really what we're looking at here is a marketplace where we need to solve that duality of needs. This is not just about media optimization, but really about harnessing the power of media optimization and creative optimization uh, in one fell swoop and to have more consistency between those data sets. Um, okay, so just wanted to give you a bit of a taste of some of the results of the study. Again, more to come um, next week. But I think now that we've covered the state of converged TV and unifying TV advertising, let's talk about what it takes to define and achieve success in building converged TV campaigns. In this section, we're going to go over three things. Um, first, what it takes to, to build the campaign from the outset. And that really starts with building the brief, thinking about the creative canvas that you have as a brand uh, and agency partners to work with. Um, from there, the next building block is the media plan. And we think that there's a big opportunity working with new tools to get as close to as unified view as possible. And then thirdly, and maybe somewhat counterintuitively, then pick the metrics that matter. So, so let's jump in and unpack this a little bit. Again, we're starting from the perspective of start with the creative. What is the mission of the advertising brief, of the creative tactics? Um, in a world today of mass marketing where there are so many different channels, and platforms and screens. And also now those screens can be curated for really, really niche uh, audiences and interest areas. Um, it's that much more important that advertising with all of its data and targeting should follow the ability to serve up relevant content. Uh, I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir here. Um, but so our first guidance, our first principle to building converged campaigns is to start with a creative first mindset. The industry is evolving and the shift to streaming has actually helped marketers think about the canvas, the television screen, and what can be possible on that screen. And I think post-pandemic, a lot of the experiments and behaviors saw that it, the digital kind of native um, abilities to personalize, create interactivity, um, have just opened up an entire new world of, uh, to redefine really how we think about TV and TV advertising. Um, think of it this way too. Consumers don't distinguish between platforms. They don't think I am having a broadcast experience now, or this was a programmatic viewing experience. And so as much as we can in the measurement side of things, we really need to think like a brand, think about the consumer and, and put their perspective first, uh, and then sort of start to measure uh, in the way that consumers are actually experiencing both the media and the brands um, as part of that content. The creative opportunities are, of course, endless. So we're talking now about bringing the best of digital into uh, the sight, sound, and motion of a TV screen. And with that comes, you know, you can see the range of formats here, whether we're talking about um, interactive units, dynamic creative, which uses data to customize and personalize that message. We've seen marketers use all of these different um, formats and elements as a way to extend and expand the TV assets um, that they're using in Converge TV. So creative comes first, absolutely no question. Um, so continuing on though, uh, now we're, we're talking about the media pillar. And as we saw in the survey, Fragmentation of inventory and viewership is a genuine challenge in, in Converge TV. 
Um, we think that one of the side benefits of bringing together different forms of television is that it's accelerated the shift to impressions as a unit for advertising measurement. Um, it's allowing us to sort of get away from thinking about TV in terms of pods of commercials, and it's allowing the market to find commonality across all forms of TV media. Um, but of course, the diversity of platforms, the screens, it, it all sort of presents um, a challenge to buyers if they want to reach really specific audiences. Um, some of the developments that we've seen certainly are across the sell side, taking steps to adopt a more consolidated way of packaging and selling their inventory. But we still have a ways to go um, to really kind of iron out how to bring linear and streaming um, into sort of a single way uh, of planning and buying and selling that inventory. Um, so the fact is with so many different TV partners and platforms, apps, devices, you name it, the list is endless. It does get really difficult to build a unified view. And here, you know, what we believe is that one of the emerging approaches um, in using ad delivery technology um, allows us to more fully account for unique impressions tied to audiences across platform. And so a big development is being able to connect ad delivery data to linear viewership data and you know may not solve 100% of fragmentation because there are always going to be uh, sort of pieces of the puzzle um, that we strive to, to address. But this way of approaching the market specifically for building converged TV campaigns allows marketers to have a much more comprehensive and unified view of all video impressions to help build their media plans. So again, we start with creative. What are we trying to convey uh, and engage consumers with? How do we build media plans working through the challenges of fragmentation with some of the new data sets and technology that we have at our fingertips? And now let's shift to the, the third really key principle of building converged TV campaigns, which is now that we have that in place, um, a view uh, of better equipping marketers and brands and our tools to surface the right metrics to provide actionable insights. And so I'm a data person. I always like to think data first, but, but really what we're arguing here is we need to use the metrics that are best tuned to providing answers and insights for what it is we're trying to learn. And so according to respondents in our, our last report, really the metrics that matter for converged TV can span online and offline outcomes, unique reach, frequency. There are lots of different objectives that can be um, tied to a converged TV campaign. We need both the flexibility to use all of those different metrics, but also the discernment to not sort of overweight our campaigns with, with too much data or irrelevant data. Um, and so really, what, what we see here is a pretty massive insight that reveals that brands don't think about measurement and their marketing analytics as wholly distinct uh, measures, but really part of a coordinated workflow. So let's dig into some of those metrics that matter. 72% cited online outcomes as the top KPI to help brands and agencies evaluate their converged TV campaigns. For a medium television, traditionally, that has largely been used to drive awareness, it's a pretty big shift to see that we're now integrating outcomes and holding television to performance expectations. 65% focused on unique reach. Um, we think this is pretty new, fairly new over the last five years, and increasingly becoming widely adopted even globally. And in fact, we just announced a partnership with the Trade Desk in Europe um, to report on metrics like unique reach specifically to help power converge TV campaigns and performance. Um, and the, la the last one I'll call out here, 59% cited frequency as a key KPI. Um, this is an area that we anticipate is just going to continue to get more traction as we see companies solve for fragmentation. And frankly, you know, traditional linear also had a frequency issue. And so as these, you know, types of media are coming together, we think that marketers will continue to drill into saturation, creative wear in, wear out, and frequency kind of sits at the nexus of that. So point here is brands expect consistency between the impressions used to count viewership to their messages or exposure by media channel, by partner, and those same impressions should be used to determine how performance to an individual creative 
uh, behaved. And so underlying this is a need for consistency of the data, a need for technology and systems that use those same units, but can power you know, completely different use cases. Um, and it, I think something that's on the mind of any practitioner in, a, practitioner in the space is the reality that having data loss between measurements like reach and frequency and outcomes is it's costly, it's time consuming, it's stymies business results. And really what the market is telling us is make insights come faster, reduce the barriers to getting good quality, visible measurement across platforms and reduce friction by using consistent data sets to power all of those use cases. Um, I have a little bit more on some of the KPIs just to, to unpack this a little further. Um, one of the big insights that we've observed is that having a unified view doesn't mean you have to choose between reach and frequency or, for example, online registrations. In, in fact, again, more what we're seeing is this fluency between seeing how these measures connect together. Um, and that's really important because as you dig into specific brands within verticals, the performance KPIs are really varied. So you can have within QSR, uh, where location and physical visits could be a critical performance objective. In financial services, it can be online registrations automotive, you know, car configuration, dealer locator. And so what's so important to preserve is for the marketer having the, the most precise KPI tied to their needs, but also this relationship back to the upper funnel exposure that kind of got them the got the consumer there to that part of their journey to begin with. Um, and so again, it's just so important that we have both the flexibility. Um, today's technology really does stand up to the ability to have rich data, to toggle between various KPIs, depending on whether you're assessing media performance or learning about the efficacy of your customer journey. And so this is again where I think that sometimes the currency debate gets a little sort of confusing because we're not talking about shifting to one new metric. We're really talking about a transformation to a world where awareness and performance outcomes come together um, and where we need flexibility to be able to define the KPI that makes most sense for that particular execution. So <clears throat> in of it is, incredibly proud actually that we get to work with 40% of the top 200 TV advertisers, as well as mid-market advertisers, thousands of local advertisers around the globe. And one of the consistent themes that we continue to hear is the need for tools that are continuous in nature. The big objective here is to create a feedback loop that allows data to continually learn and optimize. In some cases, whether the campaign is in flight or, or for just better knowledge and planning for future campaigns. And so the last key to building a successful convergent TV campaign is really this notion of constant learning, continual optimization, and essentially allowing those outcomes to be inputs. Um, we just think that the speed of uh, decision making is getting faster. The need for precision at scale helps marketers feel confident in the data that they're using. And so before we close and open it up to questions, I just want to share a couple of really uh, illuminating case studies, because I think it shows us that this is happening today and um, there's real confidence that the tools exist to be able to operate uh, and build convergent TV campaigns, but also see really strong performance outcomes. So the first case study is a very well-recognized fitness brand. Um, they had launched a unified cross-platform TV strategy, which included local, national linear, streaming platforms on over 10 different publishers. So it's fairly diverse and dense campaign to begin with. Um, and so they really needed visibility um, and consistency throughout to know what was working. Um, the goal ultimately of the campaign was to drive sales and online registrations while helping to improve incremental reach on the streaming platforms. And so by leveraging Innovid XP for both audience and outcome measurement, um, this particular advertiser was able to get to a unified view and delivery metrics for all of their inventory sources. So out of the gate, they were able to have transparency um, across the board. And then we used our always on approach to help them make adjustments throughout the course of the campaign. 
These insights informed impression reallocation. So that included redistributing the share of impressions on linear into CTV publishers, and then shift some of the budgets within linear channels to those that were performing best on outcomes. And so what was the net of that? 116% increase in registrations, their key KPI, based on those TV optimizations. Also, the campaign improved media efficiency by improving the cost per registration, again, because they were tuning to the, the highest performing media partners. And also, the secondary objective, again, was incremental reach. They were able to increase um, CTV to 58% of the total impressions, and that yielded 78% incremental reach beyond linear. So overall, again, this is just a, a testament to having this sort of always on nature, the ability to make changes in flight really helps power um, those key metrics. Um, next study is, is a little bit of a different spin. So here we're underscoring how the creative brief really can drive, pun intended, uh, the metrics that matter. And this was for a luxury automotive brand. Um, so here we worked with the brand they were using CTV not just to create awareness, but really to invite prospective car buyers into an immersive experience so they could test and sort of get to know new features of a new model. And so we used a video gallery and an expanded slate. And those different elements allowed the brand to cultivate engagement and effectively extend the amount of time that viewers spent with the ad itself. Um, I believe this was a 60 second spot and we earned an incremental two minutes um, of time spent. So it's 120 seconds above that. If you think about this in a world where cost efficiency is paramount, um, especially for CTV, the CPMs uh, can tend to be high, using these kind of metrics to help understand how viewer engagement personalization really helps um, drive a critical success outcome. So what all of this boils down to is that the tools, the methodologies, the metrics really that have gotten us to this point are not gonna be the strategies and tactics that are gonna take us into a converged future. Hopefully we've convinced you uh, that what's key to defining success for converged TV campaigns is not gonna be just thinking about how you know, linear works and how to keep doing that, how digital has worked, but really we need a new interpretation as we bring these two types of media together. Um, we do have an opportunity to kind of bring the best of worlds together. Um, so we have we have the data, we have the technology, and so we should be thinking about what we can do with the combination of creative, of media plans, measurement, all working together. Um, we think is you know converged TV investments are growing. Advertisers are going to continue to demand as table stakes a unified view and go to market with a more holistic approach across all forms of television. So it, it'll just be television. It won't be advanced or CTV or linear or broadcast. It's just going to be television, but a much more uh, broader definition. And lastly, the metrics are clearly evolving. Um, in some cases, there are metrics that seem familiar, but really what's changing here is multiple metrics combined on a single campaign. Every no, no campaign should look exactly like the last one. We have now the tools and the capability to really be flexible and, and give marketers and advertisers what they want. Um, so we're encouraging you all to think about that connect, connection between creative, media, measurement, how these pillars can help define and achieve successful converged TV campaigns. And really looking forward to sharing new insights with you next week. Um, you can download more information about Innovate XP with the QR code that you see on your screen. And now I think, Meg, we can turn it over to questions. Great. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, we have a few minutes for questions. Um, a few have come through. So first up, what types of advertisers are you seeing adopt advanced creative capabilities? Yeah, so it's, um, you know, interesting. I think we have all collectively learned a lot from direct-to-consumer advertisers because they have always sort of used that immediate feedback loop as a way to think about the next campaign. And so really we've seen a lot of DTC advertisers kind of on the on the forefront of connecting the dots between exposure metrics and outcome metrics and really pace, placing a premium on holding TV accountable to the outcomes, the performance that it can drive. But also we've seen now, you know, even with big brand advertisers, they still have 
uh, performance elements as part of a, a staged campaign. And so I think we're just kind of getting away from thinking about television as only a reach medium. I think you'll find even within the largest of the large brands, they want to connect the dots back to performance just as much as everyone. And so it's really nice to see this sort of breakdown that we can look at both reach and frequency. We can look at outcomes inside of a single campaign. And I think you see that more and more across big and more DTC uh, type of brand organizations. Okay, next up we have, in what ways are you seeing advertisers take cross-platform analysis, analysis slash KPIs and apply them to their businesses? Yeah, I mean, we, we talked a lot about this. Um, I think the notion, you know, optimize is kind of a big word. It may mean different things to different people. Um, what I really see is the research and the analysis and the insights aspect of our industry is really getting supercharged with technology. And so we're still doing research. We're still learning what works. Um, it's not that, you know, there, we just sort of turn everything over to, to a set of computers, but the ability to take that insight and then turn it into how do we then use that to inform the next best set of decisions, whether it's, you know, how to reallocate our media plan, um, how to think about you know, the connectivity of, of creative assets that work, you know, in, in live and linear and then can extend the shelf life, if you will, in a CTV environment. Um, and so I think, you know, one of the things I'm most uh, sort of fascinated by is understanding how creative really evolves throughout the life cycle of a campaign. And we're seeing more and more that um, campaigns start on streaming as well, and they may have a linear component, but I think taking the understanding of how things are working in conjunction, um, you know, a couple of years ago, it used to be the CTV and streaming, uh, different forms of TV were just sort of a bolt on. They happened at the end of the campaign. It may be a way to extend some reach. I just don't see that anymore. It's really much more um, of an integrated plan from the get-go. And I think we're just seeing the beginnings of that. Um, but those insights really do become powerful because they, they really force you to think differently about everything you do from that point on, whether it's the next campaign or heading into a next media planning cycle. Um, and so I think it's just, a, if you're if you're into data and you're into research, it's a really fun time to be in the space because there's so much to learn still and so many different ways that we can improve. And I think we have time for one more. Um, what data sources do you think are the most underutilized? You know, I, I think obviously um, from where we sit in the ecosystem, which is, you know, really we're a technology platform that underpins uh, the campaign from, you know, from it, the, its earliest sort of beginnings all the way through to the end. And I think you can't sit and have that perspective and not acknowledge that um, ad delivery and ad serving is not only a measurement tool, but it provides just an enormous tranche of data that you know, when we're talking about CTV is opaque and it's fragmented, what we see is all of the visibility, whether you want to go deep and understand how your programmatic spend works relative to your direct buys and everything in between. You know, the, the data set um, coming from ad serving is giving you that point of exposure, which is the most granular it can be. And so we're really excited to help transform and bring that innovation to market because I, you know, we where there are smart TV data sets, return pass, set top box, you know, ad serving data stands up there right, you know, shoulder to shoulder with the other types of data sets because it can provide scale, granularity, richness, and it's really tuned to the creative itself. It's not sort of just beholden to um, the media side of the equation. And I think that's a really important unlock for brands and agencies. Jessica, thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. But as I said earlier, if you submitted a question, um, we will get back to you via email in a few days. Um, again, it's your last chance. Please scan the QR code to download our measurement lookbook. It has um, the two case studies that Jessica walked through as well as many others. And uh, finally, on our list, all uh, attendees today will be receiving our unification survey, which um, Jessica talk through on Monday once it goes live. So check your inboxes for that. Otherwise, thank you again for joining and have a great day.